Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends in our veritas backup access series today i'm going to demonstrate how to install your backup access agent on your server computer of which you want to take the backup and there is a total two methods i'm going to demonstrate one is remote installation and the second is physical installation which means we are directly uh, manually going to install backup backup access agent on that machine so hope the context is clear now let me show you practically how you can exactly you can do that step by step after this small intro video hey welcome back guys let's launch our uh, backup access console by authenticating with our admin credential perfect my backup access console is fully initialized and is started there is no error or warning present in my environment what are these five let's double click okay these are the general logs so whenever you log in with your uh, to your backup access console always check your bottom of the backup access console because it will indicate you what are the problems you are facing or how it exist in your environment so make sure it is completely clean like mine this is my new environment so yeah it would be clean but yeah whatever the things are there you will have to take close look into these options okay so if there is any critical warnings or you know this kind of alerts are present you will have to review those and make sure you have do the correction now guys uh, the very first method i am going to demonstrate that is remote agent installation so how exactly you can do that for this you can simply go to the installation and licensing and here is the option available install agent and backup is server on others server right now i have only one backup is uh, agent installed that is backup exists so this is the same pc let me show you the host name cmd and the command is host name see backup exists right so this is the same machine so when we install backup is on any server it's you know capable to backup same server itself by default earlier i have added this but let me show you how exactly you can re-add it so now what you can do you can simply click on add button add single computer and then select agent for windows next uh, if you have active directory connected obviously if we are authenticating using ad credential while uh, while logging into the backup exist console so there is no any additional uh, option present where you can integrate your backup exist server with active directory okay so it's uh, with the same credential it's capable to fetch all the details from your ad now to deploy the agents okay what you can do you can simply click on browse computers and then select the machine which you want to deploy so in my case i'm going to deploy on the dc.technicalspark.com this is the ad server now let's enter the credential of this particular uh, our ad so that the, the instruction will be performed using those credential so my username will be administrator and let's type the password once all the details are mentioned let's click on next again next so now it's initializing whether deployment can be succeed on the server or not if there is any error okay it could be like uh, your network is uh, network related issue domain resolution so it will throw some kind of error okay but before i start installation of the backup is this agent let me show you my dc server first so guys this is my DT ser dc server let me show you cmd and then host name see dc domain controller now if i go to the run appwiz.cpl then here you will uh, be able to find that i don't have any backup with this agent install on this server right let me just make it little smaller okay perfect now what we will do we'll again go back to our backup with the server and we'll start installation so here we go guys let's click on next and then install you must close the backup exist console so as always uh, you will have to close this backup exist console before you actually start with the installation okay or if you didn't close then you can simply click on yes it will automatically close your backup exist console yes so see preparing to install now it's copying all the files which are required to the dc server and then it will execute the installation 
let me maximize this little bit now let's watch the process how it goes the installation of microsoft visual c++ 2022 it has been started it's checking the space requirement of our uh, server whether it has the sufficient space or not into the installation directory by default it's get installed into c drive program files okay installation seems to be success and now it's removing the backup files it's almost done now it's cleaning up the remote connections perfect the install completed successfully so guys this is how you can you know actually uh, deploy the backup access agent on the remote systems next and then i don't need read me so let's click on finish but if you want you can tick this box okay now let's again launch our backup access console and see whether the server is added here or not authenticate with your credentials enter perfect i'm able to see my dc server here let's go to the server and check the properties okay it's showing all the information which is you know detected by backup with this we will validate the credential later at the time of backup backup set is not configured so okay the installation is successful now let's go to our dc server and okay now this is our backup uh, dc server guys let me refresh my control panel and here is my backup exist agent if i go to the windows uh, start menu then here we also i'll be able to identify you know check our backup exist agent utility see this is my management server now let's click on cancel so our remote agent installation is successfully completed guys i will go to the backup this again and this time guys i'll be demonstrating you how to install your you know uh, backup this agent manually for that you know just for your reference uh, if you open the file explorer then inside that under c drive wherever is your backup this agent is uh, uh, management server is installed you can go to that particular directory so in my case i have installed in c drive so under c drive program files veritas backup exists agents this is where a backup exists you know uh, agents are present this is for the 32 bit 64 bit and for linux so we need this particular folder when we are going to install on 64 bit of windows server so you can simply copy this folder wherever you want to install your backup exists for that let's go to the our another server where i'll show you how exactly you can do the manual installation so guys this is my another test machine so let's open our backup exists then program files veritas backup exists for directory and agent so let's copy this entire directory from this machine to our uh, i mean our backup exists server to our local system let me close this once agent is uh, copied you can simply open this uh, our downloaded folder and then go to the uh, this particular raw sx64 and execute this setup.exe installation file it's loading the components let's click on next local install perfect and then again next and install so our installation has been executed guys guys just for your information okay while copying the agent setup if you you know uh just copy this folder okay in this situation if the your system is required this microsoft visual you know code uh, c plus plus then it will throw you an error okay so make sure when you when you are copying this setup you can copy vc redistributable folder as well okay so that you will not face any error while installation of your backup with this agent so this is one of the my suggestion from my side now our c++ has been installed and it's installing the backup agent on our machine let's check out here let me refresh oh yeah see backup agent for windows is getting installed and this is our c++ minimize this 
perfect okay now it's asking us to restart the system now but we'll restart the system little later so let me click on finish can drop in the settings uh, for the backups okay so we'll restart this it's not an issue guys okay let me click on cancel and hit the restart button but as a best practice let me remove my installation setup from my this machine and server restart meanwhile let's go to our backup with this server so this is my backup is a server let's close all these things or let me just relaunch the backup access console enter the credentials or it driving the disk storage lockdown shutters guys if you see this kind of you know processing window then don't get panic sometimes you know uh, to start your backup with this application properly it take little bit of time and it's completely dependent on how much servers you have you know connected with your backup with this application for the backup so accordingly it validate the time and and then initialize your application getting the status of azure resources so it's capturing or you know it's validating all the information guys okay but okay it's loading the data and guys as you could see we have just now installed our backup as this agent on our epo server right but that server didn't appear here why i'll let you know the reason for that okay but when we deploy agent uh, from the our this utility right remotely then it's uh, the agent is automatically uh, got appeared into our backup is backup and restore uh, menu right but when we deploy agent manually there is no traces right we couldn't find that a server here so let's you know uh, add over this backup with this server information to that machine for that let's go to the epo server again okay so this is my server i just rebooted my machine so guys on our this machine here is our backup access agent utility you can simply double click or if you want you can open it from here now if you go to the publishing then earlier we were getting error right that is not uh, resolved after our, you know we have rebooted the system but if you check here then here we don't have any information of the, our management server right so so to add that information we will have to click on add button and then we can mention our backup with the server host name backup exec then username and password click on ok ok my backup with the server information has been added here now click on ok so guys basically what it does it's enable the agent for windows to publish information to the backup with the server in the list so when after entering this name here uh, you are this particular machine which is epo.technicalspark.com this machine will get reflect into our backup access console let me show you host name again see epo right let's click on ok and now we'll go back again to our backup access server see so this particular system has been automatically appeared in our backup access console so guys basically that's how you can do the manual installation or remote uh, deployment of backup access agent in your environment and guys once the agent has been installed now so what you can do you can simply right click here and click on establish trust okay so guys i hope now you have completely understood and got the information that how exactly the agent deployment works into the backup access console and in next video we are going to learn how to take the backup of our data step by step for different different scenarios like your windows normal windows server or file server then uh, our your active directory your school database so everything i'll going to demonstrate very much in detail okay along with the restore so that backup and recovery everything will be included in the into the further videos so don't forget to watch my next videos and if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share this uh, videos with your friends and colleagues in case you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then click on subscribe button and guys uh, one more thing if you want to watch my latest videos little early then what you can do you can click on the join button to join my community because the once you become members you will get early access to all of my videos 
बिकॉज आई यूजली पोस्ट वीडियोज ऑन दिस चैनल मंडे वेन्सडे एंड फ्राइडे बट द पीपल्स हु आर मेम्बर ऑफ दिस चैनल दे गेट्स एक्सेस टू द न्यू वीडियोज 10 to 15 days before so if you are really interested in my videos then your waiting time period will be very less so that's it guys this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye